Dorky Brit here, and today I need some help deciding on which challenge to play in The Sims 4 as I start a new Let's Play series. Um, so the first option here is Merda Disney, um, and I she would be the founder for a Disney challenge. Um, I wanted to mix it up and randomize the order. So this is what it came out to. So I'd start with Merida, go to Pocahontas, then Anna, Cinderella, Belle, Jasmine, Elsa, Mulan, Aurora, Tiana, Ariel, Snow White, and then Rapunzel, assuming I could actually do 13 um, generations. Um, Merida's generation here, and I'll put links in the description. Um, so Disney Princess, this or at least originally was posted, I didn't do a whole lot of research by playing with Ma. Um, but Merida's generation is supposed to be the 10th, so it's kind of, I don't know, not great to start with. Um, so it says, uh, so the quote is, if you had the chance to change your fate, would you? You always wondered why mother gave up her riches for a poor boy. Your adventures led you into trouble and you were nearly always grounded. When Merida becomes a teenager, the story begins. Have the self assured trait, lose your siblings and mother in an unfortunate accident, seek out a way to change the past but fail. You do not believe in love, never marry, you believe you are cursed, never have children, grow up alone and regretful. Obviously that will not work um, for starting the the legacy. I definitely will keep to never marry. Um, so she'll just have to get knocked up and probably have one kid. Um, but obviously she needs at least a child. Um, and I don't know how you change the past. Like, I don't think that's a thing in The Sims 4, so I don't know how that one will work. Um, if she's the founder, she won't have siblings or a mother to lose, but I'll definitely put that into kind of like a backstory for her. I gave her the self-assured trait, um, but I envision this more focusing on like athletic skills because she was kind of this badass archer lady um and i don't know we'll see um if you guys have ideas for other things that i could do as i guess uh goals for the generation um so merida is a she has the bodybuilder uh, aspiration so she comes with high ma metabolism so she's active self-assured and hot-headed um and this is what she looks like. This would be more of a vanilla legacy. So they'd have the bright colors um, on the eyes and hair. Except hers are just regular red. But um, her clothes wouldn't be too... Well, she'll have regular skin and mm -hmm. the clothes will be a little bit more relaxed. Like, I mean, I pulled in some red, but it's not like berry in your face red sort of thing. So this would be option one to do a Disney legacy with Merida. Um, option number two would be to do Berry Sweet Boutique's um, Pastel Rainbow Sea for the Sims 4. Um, and so this would be the founder for that. I thought, hey, like a lot of people start with girls, let's start with a guy. So this is Deluge Waterfall, or sorry, Watercolor. Um, I gave him the Aspiration Painter Extraordinaire. He's creative, which is the family trait for the challenge an art lover and perfectionist, which was per Ooh. the challenge, which I will look at here. Um, again, links will be in the description. So, um, the first generation, your life has been a sheltered one and all you want to do is get away from your overbearing parents. The family's vacation home is your escape plan and hopefully one you can survive as a starving artist. So you start off the traits, creative, art lover, and perfectionist, which I did, and you move into a neighborhood, not San Maishuno, which I don't entirely know other than I guess you can't build a home, it would be apartments, I guess. Um, but you build a starter home, one bedroom, one bath, vacation bungalow. Move your founder into it. Over the gens you build on, but you must keep this lot in the family through the entire challenge. Um, can be as elaborate or bare bones as you like to start. Larger lot is ideal since it will grow quite a bit over the generations. So your aspiration, oh, I need to change that. I didn't see that. It needs to be big, happy family. Um, you want to max the painting skill. Um, make money by selling painting. Sell five masterpieces. 
your mate's career will be a detective. Um, you want to paint a portrait of your heir and hang it in the house, and you do that every generation. You need a total of five children with two different sims, so you need a, both a pink and a purple sim and no adoptions. Um, so let me change his hmm. to family. Big happy family. Okay. So, um, I'm, I would be excited and interested in doing both challenges. Um, in all honesty, if I don't, I don't know, like, I could see myself later on doing the other challenge if I don't do it right now, so it's not like the end of the world if it doesn't happen. I only have their everyday set right now. Uh -huh. um, so, what do you guys think? Do you, should I do the pastel rainbow sea with Deluge here? Hmm. Or do the Disney princess challenge with Merida? Um, so, let me know down below in the comments. And, um, yeah, we'll all get started with a new Let's Play in The Sims 4. I'm super excited because I really haven't explored The Sims 4 a whole lot. And I don't mind posting it on Tumblr, but... Um, I don't know. It just hasn't been my thing, but I want to explore the game and I feel like being able to just play the game and not have to worry about taking photos all the time and just enjoying it while doing a let's play is going to be really great and I'm super excited. So again, let me know which challenge would you like to see. If you hate both ideas, then let me know what else, uh, what other challenge you would like to see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!